don't have a choice of where you're going to go. It's wherever they put you, right? So it could be in Sacramento. If they live down in San Diego and the next bed opens up in Sacramento, that's where they go, right? No, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. And, you know, I haven't met one person yet that wants the state to determine where they're going to spend, uh, you know, their years in, in receiving care. I haven't met one person yet. You ask someone where they would prefer to receive nursing care if they had to, they want to be at home. And, you know, if you can't be at home and you need some type of skilled nursing, you want to be in the very best facility with the best amenities, the absolute best care available. And you don't want the state of California to tell you where to go and, you know, and, 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 and how to pay for it, frankly. You know, meaning that, you know, if you're on Medi-Cal, you know, there's a spin down uh, system in place where you have to spin down all of your assets first before Medi-Cal will even kick in. And so it's just not the ideal situation. And, you know, what I found, Brendan, is that uh, it's one of those things that unfortunately become out of sight, out of mind. You know, people don't think it can happen to them. And I pray and hope that it never happens to you. But the statistics say that um, that it's pretty likely that it will happen to most people. Consider this. Every year, 700,000 people across the U.S. suffer a stroke. That's once every seven seconds. I'm sorry, that's once every 40 seconds that someone is suffering a stroke in the United States. One out of 10 people age 65 and older have Alzheimer's. That's 33% of people age in, I'm sorry, in 33% of people age 85 and older have Alzheimer's. So, you know, the fact is these statistics are real and you have to plan for it. And if you don't, you can end up in a situation where you lose your power of choice. You lose the ability to decide how and where you receive care. And all it takes now is a very simple uh, 15 minute phone call to determine if you qualify, to determine if you can participate in this new type of long-term care that does not require you to pay monthly premiums, that does not require you to throw all your money away if you never need it, but gives you the choice and the control of, uh, of of your assets and knowing that you can, it'll be there for you when you need it the most. Yeah, that's some really, really jarring stats that you're talking about. And nobody, when you think about it, nobody's planning for a stroke. Like, you know, nobody's saying, well, on uh, August 13th of 2030, I plan to have a stroke. So I need to have uh, that all set for. You can't do that. You can't plan for a heart attack. And, you know, yes, there is ways to say that you have, you know, maybe Alzheimer's somewhere in your family. So you are at greater risk for it. But nobody really plans for that. But if you get your planning done correctly and you start planning for your long term care, if those things happen, you're covered. You're covered. You're covered. And, uh, and again, it's very simple to find out. And here's what you don't want to do. You don't want to take the mindset of it won't happen to me. Uh, I'm not worried about it because then what do you do if it does happen to you? Then what happens? Where, where, where do you get the funds from at that time? You know, if you think about uh, if you got sick and needed long-term care, where would you want to receive it? Would you want it to be in a nursing home? Okay, well, that's about $10,000 a month. Would you want in-home care? Okay, well, that's going to run somewhere between five to $6,000 a month. Assisted living, about the same. So, you know, these are real questions that have real costs associated with them. And if you continue to push it off, push it off, push it off, you might find yourself in a situation where you then become a burden on the people that you love the most, whether that be a spouse, whether that be children or you know, it, it may even be that you find yourself in a situation where you become a burden to the state. And that's something that you absolutely don't want to have to deal with in your later years of life. And even if, you know, there's a lot of people that are out there and, and if you say, well, what are you going to do um, when it comes to your long-term care, nursing home or, you know, extended care facilities? Uh, and some people say, well, my daughter's a nurse and she'll take care of me. Well, do you really understand how much burden that's going to put on your daughter. It's the, there was a stat that showed just 
costs for the person that's taking care of their elderly parent or 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 you know spouse or whoever that is um, that that needs it, it's going to cost them somewhere in the area of a hundred thousand dollars a year because you're also going to get lost wages in there, different things, different costs that you're going to have. Maybe you might need to make some renovations to your house, like if there's wheelchairs involved, things like that. There's huge costs for that. This is Planning for the Future with our guest, Billy Miles. To get a free copy of Billy's book, call 909-321-9737. Say I have $100,000 saved up. How do I get started? Yeah, so, you know, the, the good thing about this is it's not your money that qualifies you for this. It's your health. And so there's about a 10 or 15 minute health questionnaire that we go through to assess a person's, you know, current situation, their current health situation, because there is some medical underwriting that's required. Um, However, if you have had some health issues in the past and, you know, you think that might be an issue or you just don't want to go through that process, there are still options available to you um, that are considered non-medical or not, which require non-medical underwriting in order to get started. But let me give you an example, because you mentioned something I think was really, really, really powerful, um, how the burden and you know, what it can cost for uh, uh, for family members. We had a client, um, and I'll just use uh, uh, a different name for, uh, for sake of this example, but this is a real life example, and we'll just say your name was Mary. She was 63 years old. And, you know, Mary had, a di- with her mother actually was diagnosed with Alzheimer's at age 65. And she spent about three years inside a skilled nursing facility. And the cost over that time frame was about, about $90,000 that was paid for her mother's care before she passed on. But during that time, Mary also had a lot of out-of-pocket expenses, uh, even though her mother was in the home, in, in the skilled nursing facility. And that was primarily due to the fact that she had to take off work Many different times, her mother lived in a different state, uh, and you know, so she had different you know travel commitments where you know, she'd go there for a month at a time. Um, but long story short, Mary came in and sat down with us, and she you know wanted to make sure that that situation did not happen to her, um, and wanted to know the same question: How does she get started? What could she do to protect herself? And so once we took a look at all of her assets and to kind of give you a broad overview, she had about a quarter of a million dollars in an IRA, a little more than 300,000 in a CD. And then she had about another 300,000 in stocks and bonds. And so that's kind of how she was positioned. And so when we looked at how to take care of her long-term care needs, what we wanted to do was effectively eliminate the potential cost and worry that a long-term care event might cost for her. And so long story short, what we did is we uh, allocated $150,000 out of all of her bucket of assets. And what was great about it is she was still able to keep control of the 150. She never lost access to it. So it stayed 100% liquid. She could use it for anything she wanted at any time if she ever changed her mind. And what that ultimately gave her was over $500,000 in tax-free LTC benefits. Wow. Think about that. We took $150,000 and created a benefit, a bucket of over a half a million dollars in tax-free benefits. If she never used it and never needed it, she was guaranteed to still uh, have $150,000 while she was alive, growing at a, a guaranteed interest rate. And if she passed away, there's even still an increased death benefit above and beyond that. But here's really the key. By transitioning that money, it created a $7,300 monthly benefit, 100% tax-free if Mary ever needed home health care, assisted living, skilled nursing facility, or any other type of, be- of cash indemnity benefit all for that same bucket of money. And really what she did, Brennan, she didn't purchase anything. She moved 150,000 from one pocket to the next pocket, from her left pocket to the right pocket and created a tremendous benefit that gives her the peace of mind that she needed after seeing what her mother went through. 
That's crazy. That that's what a benefit that is for really just using your own money. You know, it's exactly. it's money that you've worked for already. And again, we talked about it before, making your money work for you as opposed to letting other people take it away and going nursing home poor, healthcare poor. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, that's what I talk about in my book, you know, protecting your assets with tax-free long-term care. And, you know, I highly recommend that, you know, people get a copy of it because it, it goes through and it tells you in great detail exactly what you can do to protect yourself, to make your money work for you and how not to go broke, uh, you know, when you get sick for that matter. And so, you know, it's something that, that we're really passionate about, that we've helped uh, tons of people with. And, uh, you know, I, I just think it's a topic that needs more and more conversation because again, it's the number one issue that we see that people have not taken care of or not accounted for in their portfolio or in their overall retirement plan. And we can help you fix it. Yeah. Yeah. I get over the, it won't happen to me phase and just look into it. It's simple. It's so simple. It's just to even get you to that understanding, you know, in, in just in the last uh, little bit of our conversation, things that I've learned that I had never known before and just ways that you can make their money work for them again and make their quality of life better. You know, not only relieving the stress of everything, but knowing that, you know, if they do have to go into a nursing home, they can choose the place they want to go not be put where the state wants them to go or not have to choose a lesser one and be like, oh, well, I would love to go to extended care place A, but I can only afford extended care place B. If you did things right and you made the right plans, you can choose your first choice all along. Exactly. Exactly. You know, you literally take a couple of hours to, you know, really understand what your options are. And you can have a lifetime of benefits, literally a lifetime of benefits. And one thing I didn't mention earlier is if you're married, the benefits cover both you and your spouse. So in Mary's case, she, uh, her husband would also be covered for that same $7,000 a month. So, you know, if you both need it covered simultaneously, now you're talking about a serious drain on your assets, you know, as it relates to your, your IRA or 401k or whatever it may be. But with this type of plan, with the new options that are available today, you don't have to do that. You can keep those assets in place for what they're designed to do, produce retirement income for you, allow you to travel, allow you to vacation, allow you to live the retirement of your dreams, the one you work so hard for. You know, they say over your working life, that you spend about 96,000 hours working to get to retirement. By age 65, you put in over 96,000 hours. Why throw all of that away? Because you didn't take the time to make one simple uh, do, make one simple choice and decision to protect yourself. You, it, it's not necessary. It's an unforced error, and it can be easily fixed with something that most people don't even know exists. Wow, that's awesome. Well, Billy, I got to tell you, I really love the way you look at things. Your perspective is totally unique and, you know, it's refreshing to to hear something like that because it's great to get the word out and let people know that this isn't the same old garbage that your great grandparents and, and everything were were being stuck in. It's not, you know, it, it, it's it's not the back of a, a, a magazine sort of investment. This is this is something with, you know, just a, a little bit of research and some help from people like you that people can totally change their life and their whole portfolio as far as their, you know, their financial health. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. And uh, like I said earlier, we, we, we see it all the time. And I can't tell you the um, amount of of. of pride and satisfaction that we feel as a, as a company, knowing that we help people eliminate this, uh, you know, this concern from, from their retirement, from their future. You know, our practice has always been about, you know, helping people protect their assets, helping give families peace of mind 
as it relates to their retirement and their future. And, you know, this is 